This is the central defender gym routine. Let's go. I was very important for centre back. I actually insisted a lot for them to buy this machine. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Ruben here. I'm with Simon, our head of uh, strength and uh, conditioning. He's going to give us five exercises that uh, can help you to, to be a, a better central defender. This first exercise is called the front squat and it's the first one that Ruben does within his programme. And this really is about developing uh, bilateral or double leg uh, leg strength and for a central defender this is really important because leg strength is important in terms of getting up for headers. A mistake at the back from Newcastle United capitalised upon by Ruben Diaz. The Portuguese starts in and just before the half hour mark Manchester City take the lead at the Etihad. Accelerating to close space or accelerating to, to close down and attacking player, so it's a really important sort of thing that you need as a central defender. Today we've got many assisted exercises and this is kind of a old school one still. And it's very important to, to keep a good posture. Position is, is, is everything. If you do it uh, wrong, you're probably not doing as much of a good work. So this exercise is called the hip thrust, mainly it's for uh, an extension of the hip, so you engage the big sprint muscles, the glute muscles, and this a lot is about acceleration. Uh, a central defender will sometimes be in some deep positions where they actually have to attack the ball, um, and the key exercise in terms of driving through the floor is, is the glute muscle, and this is a great exercise to, to strengthen that through. Ruben Diaz stuffed that ball away. reading of the play from the Portuguese. A lot of the work comes from, comes from the glutes um, and uh, uh, I actually insisted a lot for them to buy this machine. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> You've got a big range, you've got stability. I think both of them are very important, especially in this exercise. This exercise is slightly different than the other two. The other two is more based on strength, so higher force is produced, which is obviously a key thing for power. This is more based on speed. So we're combining the two together to elicit power. And power is very important for centre-back um, because they probably do more headers than any other position on the pitch. So the ability to produce vertical force with speed is really important. And I think, like Ruben said about the front squat, sometimes you can complicate things and you don't need to. So sometimes the most simple exercises are the best ones. This goes well with the squat. So you have a strength and you have a power exercise. And this, all this is is jumping as high as you can and landing on the box. It's a really simple exercise that all you need is a box. So this exercise is called a, a resisted A march. Basically, it's used by a lot of athletes that need to sprint quickly, and it teaches quite a few things. It teaches the importance of hip extension, teaches the importance of ankle stiffness as well, which is a key determinant of, of sprint performance and sprint speed. And obviously with centre-backs at times, they'll, they'll, a lot of the time they'll come up for headers or corners, and sometimes we get caught in the transition. The centre-backs are the ones that are putting their heads back and sprinting back. So this is quite an important exercise for a centre-back. Ruben 
when we sprint and the faster we sprint, our contact time, which is the time on the floor, reduces. And what we need to do is we have, we have a tendon behind the ankle, the Achilles tendon, and it's very good at producing force rapidly, but you need to be able to load the tendon. When the heel is on the floor, the Achilles isn't as loaded as much as when there's a slight space on the heel. So when you see a top sprinter in, in, in mid speed, mid through the race, they'll be in that position rather than flat footed because they're utilizing the key qualities of, of the elastic Achilles tendon. And when you sprint fast, you need to look like you're bouncing. The Achilles can do that, the muscle can't. So that's why it's a key thing to keep the heels off the ground. So this exercise is called uh, a Paloff Press uh, and it's a really an anti-rotational exercise and basically as you come into a position low your centre of mass you're actually holding the, uh, the resistance out there and you're preventing any sort of rotation because when, we, uh, when the players get into body-to-body -body contact obviously you know our central defenders or any players who want to drop the centre of mass and stay quite stable, if someone can knock you off your stable and it's easier to get you off balance and, and probably take advantage of scoring a goal or getting a header in. So this is all about setting the centre of mass, getting low and preventing any sort of rotation. So it's given Diaz on Manet, he tries to get the challenge in. It's a fair tackle according to Michael Oliver. Sometimes people get wrong ideas about what it is and what it means to be in the gym. Uh, for me to be in the gym essentially and to, to have these uh, work outside the pitch is essentially about a search for, um, for balance. Essentially it's about that. Uh, it's uh, going for that balance, whatever, whatever you might find it. We've just done uh, five, five different exercises. Uh, some of them obviously are pure strength, but as this one and many others, I've got many in my routine that uh, it's more than anything and more than strength, it's about balance. It's about uh, covering the little spots that you might miss uh, on, on your daily activity on the pitch and uh, making sure that in general all those details give you the better balance you can have. What a block. Who does that so well, Diaz?